Our world has gotten wonders hidden in it. Every other day, we get to explore or discover something that puts us in awe. Scuba diving is a way to explore the beauty of underwater. You get to see the vastness of the sea and oceans, but it's not always a pleasure to explore it. Sometimes it becomes really dangerous. While scuba diving offers incredible experiences, there are certain locations where the risks are higher due to challenging conditions, wildlife encounters, and other factors. So grab your dive gear and let's explore these thrilling but potentially perilous diving spots. Blue Hole Dahab, Egypt First in line is the Blue Hole in Dahab, Egypt. Blue Hole is no doubt one of the most famous scuba diving places in the world. But then again, we cannot deny the dangers that come with it. This mesmerizing sinkhole lures divers with its depth, but its allure can quickly turn into danger. It's 130 meters deep and has engulfed many scuba divers over the years. The stories of blue holes eating up the divers in a minute are really scary to the core. Divers feel lost and lose their sense of direction as a result of the sinkhole's small entry, which leads to a vertical plummet. Deceptive underwater tunnels and inadequate markers have led to accidents and fatalities, making it a risky choice, especially for those without extensive experience. According to reports, 150 divers have lost their lives over the past 15 years. The Shaft Sinkhole, Mount Gambier, Australia This scuba diving place has got a lot of cave diving. You'll get to experience some adventures in cave diving, which will make you question your choice of choosing site. No doubt it's a good place, but with a dangerous diving site, it makes it a bit scary. The sinkhole is a vast underwater cave network with congested passageways. Untrained divers run the risk of getting lost or imprisoned in the cave network. Additionally, the sinkhole is renowned for its poor visibility, which can make diving difficult. Because of the low air consumption, it becomes really hard to breathe, and because of this, many divers have lost their lives. Yongala Wreck, Australia The SS Yongala Wreck in Australia is considered a potentially dangerous place for scuba diving due to a combination of factors that can pose challenges and risks to divers. While it's a popular and captivating dive site, some things make it a dangerous place to dive. The SS Yongala Wreck site is known for its strong and unpredictable currents. These currents can make diving difficult, especially for less experienced divers who might struggle to control their buoyancy and movement. Other than this, the weather at the Yongala site can change very frequently. Due to this, the currents get rapid and can create some obvious dangers for the divers. Because this place is historical and a remote location, in case of emergencies, access to immediate medical assistance or evacuation might be limited, making it crucial for divers to be self-reliant and well-prepared. Coco Islands, Costa Rica Coco Islands is one of the most remote dive spots on the planet. Traveling by boat to this amazing site, which is around 340 miles off the country's Pacific coast, takes over 35 hours. However, because of the abundance of sharks in the neighboring waters, this diving region is substantially hazardous. The Coco Islands are known for their strong and sometimes unpredictable currents. These currents can make diving challenging, especially for divers who are not accustomed to managing themselves in such conditions. Some dive sites around the Coco Islands can be at significant depth, which can increase the risk of decompression sickness if divers don't adhere to the proper dive profiles and safety stops. So, the divers need proper buoyancy control and dive planning to avoid exhaustion or disorientation. Jacob's Well, Wimberley, Texas Next in line is Jacob's Well, situated in Wimberley. When you look at it, it merely gives the vibes of a swimming hole. But as it said, never judge a book by its cover. So you're not supposed to judge the dangers of this Jacob's Well by its shape. When you go scuba diving into it, a whole new world opens in front of your eyes. The first two cave rooms in Jacob's Well are accessible to the majority of divers, but as you get closer to the third chamber, the dive gets more challenging. In addition to having exceedingly narrow channels, this chamber is also loaded with gravel and silt both of which pose risks to the diver. It can be very difficult to detect when these minute particles are disrupted, 
which makes divers feel disoriented and fearful and deplete their air supply more quickly than usual. Sadly, more than eight people have perished in these dangerously dark caves. Devil's Caves, Guinea Springs, Florida, United States. There's a reason why this site is called the Devil's Cave, and hearing this, you're gonna get chills. Venturing into cave diving, Devil's Den in Florida is a mesmerizing yet dangerous cave diving site. Limited visibility, potential disorientation, and the need for specialized training make cave diving inherently risky. This site is not for the faint of heart and should only be explored by expert cave divers. This intricate cave network northwest of Gainesville, Florida includes the Little Devil, Devil's Eye, and Devil's Ear Caves. Each presents unique challenges, and it is known that the system shifting spring waters act like currents in some places. Looking at all this, we cannot emphasize enough how important it is to have the proper training, since even certified cave divers have perished here. Czech Lagoon, Micronesia World War II has left its remnants everywhere, even in oceans and seas. Yes, this particular site is quite scary for scuba divers because you never know when you'll encounter a skeleton or just a skull. I swear, it's true. In many ways, it is an excellent spot to scuba dive. It has pure blue water, an astounding array of marine life, and an entire fleet of sunken ships to marvel at. But there is one minor insignificant catch to the lagoon. It must be thousands of bombs, grenades, mines, depth charges, torpedoes, and other explosives. The complex was attacked by the U.S. Navy in 1944, and after it was destroyed, the New York Times described it as the biggest graveyard of ships in the world. The Chook graveyard's greatest concern may be how much of its contents, including multiple large ships and their explosive payload, are still unknown. Overall, the Chuck Lagoon has added to the divers' great terror. You have to use extra vigilance while going in there. Bolton Strid, Yorkshire Bolton Strid in Yorkshire, England is a deceptively hazardous natural feature that possesses significant dangers for scuba diving. However, it is important to note that scuba diving is not allowed in Bolton Strid due to the extreme risks it presents. Bolton Strid appears to be a narrow and tranquil stream on the surface. However, beneath the surface, it has powerful currents and deep underwater chasms that are difficult to perceive from above. This makes it extremely perilous, even for experienced divers. These underwater currents in Bolton Strid are swift and powerful. Divers can easily be swept away by these currents, leading to loss of control and disorientation. The water's force can make it challenging to maintain buoyancy and navigate. And not only that, but it also has a very complex structure of underwater tunnels and services. Bolton Strait's deceptive appearance belies its extreme dangers, making it unsuitable and unsafe for scuba diving. Divers need to prioritize their safety. Eagle's Nest Sinkhole, Wiki Wachi, Florida. Diving in Eagle's Nest Sinkhole, located in Wikiwachi, Florida, is considered extremely dangerous due to its complex and hazardous underwater environment. It's around 315 meters deep, which makes it difficult even for the most experienced and skilled divers to dive successfully. The deeper you go, the more difficult it becomes for the divers to breathe. The nitrogen narcosis makes it a task to stay balanced as it causes disorientation and this can lead to failure in reaching the surface on time. The sinkhole consists of intricate and narrow passageways that lead into a complex cave system. This overhead environment increases the risk of disorientation, entanglement, and claustrophobia, which can be life-threatening in such an environment. The cave's environment can have debris, rocks, and lines that pose a risk of entanglement. And in the event of an entanglement, divers might struggle to free themselves in the confined space. So this was all about the dangerous sites from around the world for scuba diving. Please remember, safety and precautions are everything, so make sure you're sure that you'll survive while scuba diving in these places.